All right, so shift happens. Like, don't forget the F in that. Like, shift happens, right? It's um, it's your game. So, why is it your game? Maybe tell me a little bit about you and and your role in the development of Shift Happens. So, uh, Shift Happens, formerly known as Mercury Shift 3D, which was a terrible name for the game, uh, is a local co-op uh, platformer, and uh, it's uh, uh, we've developed it. Uh, we are Clone Games. We are based in Munich, and uh, we developed the game uh, in our studies, kind of. And then uh, we founded our own company and we wanted to finish the game and wanted to uh, show people that the game is great. And, and so you're really all in, right? You have the company, you founded it, and the, the one game you want to do with your company right now is Shift Happens, right? And you get a lot of people on that right now. Yeah, exactly. So um, Shift Happens is uh, our kind of dream game that we want to make, that we want to finish. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm a game level designer at Clone Games. And, uh, I really love the game and I really want to see people play the game. So, if you see people playing the game, what's the response? How do they react on, on the show? What can you see? I mean, we see really a lot of people playing it. So, yeah. what do you take away from that? Well, actually, uh, the main response is really, really positive. People always uh, tell us how, how great the game is and how, how lovely it is and how lovely it looks and how nice the game pl uh, play and the mechanics are. and. Um, and they're really like crazy, so you really need to figure out crazy stuff with, with crates and with jumping and with like getting one player on the shoulders on the other yeah. of the other player exactly. and so on. So it's, it's really like so many mechanics crammed in there, it's, it's almost yeah, like more than some really big, big games can offer, right? Yeah, exactly. It's like uh, Shift Happens is all about the shift, which uh, actually does, uh, lets you shift your mass in between characters. So, so one gets small and one gets big. Exactly. One gets small, one gets big and there's uh, there they can never be the same size at the same time so the big big one always can throw uh, can throw the, uh, the small one around you can throw them up here they are yeah you can see them here they're, they're, they're called Bismo and Plum actually uh -huh. the, the bl blue one is Plum and Bismo is the red one and they both can have both sizes basically that's that's why they can shift Cool. So, and uh, do they have some some backstory? I mean, they, they look pretty special. Is there something? Yeah, you, you you thought when designing them, or did you say like, okay, a big blue one, a small red one, and they're kind of whatever uh, well, uh, wobbly. When, <laughs> when, when our character designer Nora, when she she designed the characters and she also did the animations for them, um, she always had something fluid in mind, something wobbly, blobby, what what whatsoever. So so the shift would work with it, and uh, I think. That, that's what she was aiming for when she was uh, doing the two little characters and she was really um, trying to make them very appealing. When yeah, and they're lovable. Play. I mean, they're really... It's always heartbreaking when they get smashed, what happens all the time, you know, yeah. they die, but they can exactly. be resurrected. So, yeah, so really cool. Um, like, looking forward to seeing more of that and there will be more um, announcements from um, you and from us regarding the game really, really soon. Yeah. So, yeah, let's just... Stay tuned, right? Exactly. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Und wir sind raus. Gut. <laughs>